it's Louise here from Project Thank You. I hope you're all well. Um, I'm just going to go through with you some of the new Facebook ad templates that I've put into the design studio today. Um, as you can see, if you go into the social media section you, and click on the Facebook ads, you'll now see that there's a tab for Facebook ads with 20% text layouts in there. So these are because of the Facebook guidelines for when you are advertising that you're allowed no more than 20% of text on each advert. Um, so I've set these up so that all you need to do is go in, you can edit the text how you want it, change the wording, change the fonts, change the colours, and then all you need to do is upload your own image and save your advert. It should be very simple, just like that. Okay, so if we go down here, here are just some of the templates that I've done. You can see that I've left them pretty blank so that you can upload your own images. I've just done the, the text layout there for you so I've made it look good. So all you need to do is change the wording and tweak it slightly and you should be good to go. So I'm going to go into this one, open it up in Design Studio. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just show you a cool effect that you can do by uploading your own image and placing a colour transparency over the top of it. So I'm going to upload an image from my desktop into the gallery. Okay, and insert it onto the Facebook ad. Making sure that this box is ticked so that it keeps your image in proportion, just drag the corner to the full size of the advert and then we're going to just move it, move the layer to the back of all the text so that it makes the background image. Cool. Right now what we're going to do is just draw a rectangle over the top of the image and again move the layer to the back of everything. Just by clicking the arrow on the side in the layers panel here. Okay, so we, we still want it to be in front of the photograph that's at the back there. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a transparency of that pink that we've used. So I've copied that, I'm going to select the black rectangle, paste the pink hex code in there and click OK. Right, so that's now the pink colour that we want. But I'm going to now change the transparency by going into the alpha channel setting here. I'm going to change that to 50% and click OK. So now you can see the image behind it. That looks quite cool. You can just change it around to whatever opacity that you want it so you can see less or more of your image, just, just what, however you like it. OK, so now obviously this text doesn't stand out so much against the background. So what I'm going to do... Just add in a shape. I'm just doing this really quickly to show you how it's done. Copy that green. Move it to the back of that text. Make the text white. That now makes it stand out much more. Make the text bold as well. Just make sure that that box is ticked to keep your text in proportion if you're going to change the sizes at all. And then you can just drag the corner to change the size there like that. Oops. Okay, cool. So if you wanted to add anything else to the image, um, you can just go into the art section. I'm just going to add a couple of little elements here. A triangle, some of that down. So I'm going to go in the other direction, make a corner there. Just playing around really to see what looks good. I'll change the colour just to fit in with my colour scheme that's going on. Obviously you would just suit 
might change the colors to suit your branding. Um, I'm also going to just add a little arrow in that top right hand corner. It's looking a bit bare. Okay, I'll change that to the green. bigger and turn it in like that. Okay, so that was only took a couple of minutes, really quick and simple to do. Um, obviously you can change the text if you want to, play around with the fonts, play around with the colours. Then at the end, before you download your Facebook ad, I would just recommend adding the Facebook Grid text checker to your advert. It's in the art section there. Just drag it to the full size of your ad image and just double check that the text on your advert takes up no more than five of these boxes. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. That means it's within the 20% rule on the Facebook advertising guidelines and your advert should get approved, no problem. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks very much. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.